But Jeff they run into Kyle Wright here in game two whose night is underway with a blazing fastball. Yeah we talked about Kyle's outstanding. 84 degrees at first pitch tonight and it against the Pittsburgh club up at PNC Park. As Ryan McMahon Let's see if Wright can calm that down here in game two. Strike three says C.B. Buckner. I think they'll do that tonight. Oh. Hmm. Rogers doesn't need any help. He had a couple of hits last night. He's knocked in. No, Kyle's gone. Pounding that strike zone. And got an inside corner there as he makes start number 25. Is that him? And Kyle's payoff pitch is bounced right at first. That'll be an easy out. Good comeback from a that two seamer really moving to me this year compared to last year. And then he's able to throw that four seamer like that pitch up. And then, of course, the great curveball. Almost plunked Charlie Blackman with her. He's spent more time at the DH for Colorado than any of their other players. He's had a great career out of Georgia here in game two. The one two pitch. For Charlie Blackman. And Kyle's missed high and away a couple. Just missed off the plate in some. In the lineup tonight. So CJ Crone is down a strike on a check swing. All the way to the backstop, it ricochets out to the mound, and Blackman will advance. For Colorado, comes with two outs. The one two swing and a miss that was an explosive adjustments depending on who the pitcher is and who the opposing team is. He said how do you beat the shift you big staff have done a great job working together. Good report Greeny as Iglesias swings and drives one toward left that's playable for Eddie Rosario playing left field tonight. And Mr. Strider a big time strikeout pitcher. There isn't an awful lot of contact anyway against him. No inverse side of the infield. Randall Gritchick is the hitter and speaking of Strider he's going to pitch tomorrow night uh, for the Braves in the series wrap up and Greeny do the numbers back that up with Strider and his big fastball on the season but you go back to the Pittsburgh series his last start slow roller Riley hard charge bare hand try can't come up with it first hit for the Rockies and in field three you see that low number a lot of times your aces of the staff like that sometimes they have a little say chip in where guys play and their aces because and they should they put the ball where they so when I blow them up they're at the point of contact Michael O oh for four Olsen spears that bad throw great recovery recovers to first and not in time there's nobody there and I think that's part of the shift that isn't talked about the different angles well, that infielders have to face the timing cannot turn a double play where you're playing guys you physically cannot turn a double play and I think look if, if the ball hit on the ground and you got a chance you've got play. but again with nobody being at the bag it's a tough throw Bouchard belts that one past Austin Riley an 0 2 pitch and Sean Bouchard lay the Braves have been excellent with the gloves so far in 2022 is this ball by Brian Servans popped up and Dansby Swan in position fourth best in all of baseball. Right struck out McMahon he's got big time power. McMahon earlier this year hit a 400. He's also hit a home run off Jacob DeGrom so. All right, having good stuff against the Colorado leadoff man. And he hits it right past Austin into right field for a leadoff single. Another two strike hit. Allowed. Well, 
Certainly a different look yeah. acquisition. Ryan's hurt again for Colorado. But that hasn't stopped him. One ball, one strike. Let the Braves in. Swing and a miss. Rogers chase that. Max Freeds. It's it's a hard breaking ball. So that power 12 years ago. Want to play foul. 0 and two is the count. Yeah, and like you talked about, sometimes there's guys that gets get wins. On the ground, right side. Grissom will fire, and the ball dropped. Riley couldn't make the connection. So it's a fielder's choice, E5 on the missed catch. And that illustrates again the difficulty for CJ Crone with one out. So, Nick, you got three things going on there. Throw away, but he's going to learn from it and not make that mistake again. Where should that throw have been in a perfect world for Riley? Probably be changed to Grissom, but it's just a tough play for Riley. So, when you say outside, you're talking so be the out. Two two pitch broken bad and curling foul to the warning track balls two strikes for CJ Crone two on here the pitch is dribbled right in front of the plate and Contreras will make the peg to first four out number two paints the inside field hits than anybody else in the major leagues. But not this time as a routine fly ball to center. Boy, Kyle Wright gets in trouble. Again, Lauren. <laughs> Can't wait to see the Hawks get started on Valley Sports Southeast. Hope Bob and they'll be kicking it off here in another month or so. So Kyle Wright in this fourth inning enjoys a 2 nothing lead. He'll have guard coming up. Right off Grichuk's knuckles out of play. Foul. One two pitch. Man. And a breaking ball erases Grichik. Man, that hard curveball. And a line drive into center field. That's a base hit. That's his first as a big leaguer. So Moments like that, you, you always say about a young player, well, is that the first of maybe three? How rewarding that must be for the young man standing at first base. Balls, no strikes. There's the ground ball. There's one. There's two. First pitch strikes and able to throw it for two strike pitches, whether that's a strikeout pitch or with us, whether that he's 12 out of 18 doing that tonight against the Rockies as Brian Servant is <clears throat> where that on the ground Dansby's got that and a long throw erases the as we mentioned in the opening comments this is a right hand dominant Colorado lineup two of their Three men who and yeah. third on the lineup card. Here's McMahon. Rockies have four hits. A couple of them have come with two strikes. Another curve. Merman with 249 for his average. That's been the one pitch that. But that has erased just about everybody. It's been filled. Hear it when you swing and miss. I, I, don't know, I don't know what the spin rate is on that pitch for Wright. Digs in. 69 pitches for Kyle Wright with one man to get here in the fifth. And number 70 will turn into a little roller. You'll want to get here early to get this one-of-a-kind giveaway. For all the ticket details, go to Braves.com. This year hitting a buck 69 off them with no extra base hits. That's going to continue as Charlie Blackman rolls out early in the count as he tries to win his 17th game. He leads three to nothing. 
Again, I don't know how the awards are going to go. I don't know how many himself with 17. Tony Gonsolin has 16 with the Dodgers, and he's hurt. Well, again, I think they're also banged up. Has 16 wins and paces all American League pitchers. As that one sneaks through the left side for a base hit. This guy's a good hitter. He's got a short, compact swing. Don't try to get too away from Colorado yeah. than he does at home. He's hitting. 349 on the road. Right. I'm going to be honest with that many ABs. I mean, you dream of going to Coors Field for three and after the 2 1 pitch, which is on the ground. Riley off his glove to flex to dance me. They get the force. How about that? Happy bounce. Money players cash in with runners at third and less than two outs, right? Oh, yeah. It's huge stat. Iglesias is 12 for 17. We hope he won't improve those numbers the rest of the way in this series. It is knuckled softly over the netting foul for Randall Grichik and Kyle Wright. Rolling merrily along. Chopper up the middle. Dansby gives ground. He's going to flip to Grissom, who's there. He's one for two in the show tonight. And that time, Kyle threw him a little backdoor curveball. They learned their lessons yeah. quick. Launched out of play foul. It's 0 and 2. Well, if the Braves can win this one, we'll start September. Wow, three games back. Feeler tonight. Swing and a miss. Kyle Wright gets the strikeout number 150 for Kyle Wright. And he felt like Kyle throws his curveball with as much conviction as, as he's ever seen. And I thought that was a big statement knowing his delivery. From there to the finish with the curveball, the execution and the conviction with that curveball is absolutely nasty. His stuff, you can see why. Yeah. And that got a big piece of Contreras behind. Pitch number 93 and fouled back. And so I, I like the idea of him playing shallow. You had a theory on that in your playing days. Kyle not happy with that missed inside ball four to Bouchard and with one on the ground right to Dansby the shovel to Grissom for one and a perfect turn will end the seventh inning Kyle Wright having a